Well, it's been one year and three weeks since expensive Colt last made his appearance on a race track. He's back in action at Clubman Angle on Tuesday afternoon in race seven. His driver, Jimmy Douglas, joined me after his commitments at Menangle. Well, Jimmy, like his trainer, David Thorne, no doubt you're very excited about Expensive Ego being back in action. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's been a long wait, and, uh, but it's good to get him back on the races. David's shown plenty of patience with this exciting three-year-old Jimmy. He's had four trials, very solid in his latest trial on Wednesday. Yeah, he was. All three have been real good. He, um, I didn't pull him out of his first one, just the last little bit, and he felt really nice. And then the next trial he led when it was very wet, and then he went good there. He just switched off a little bit. And then the other day, he come from behind, run a real quick third quarter. And um, yeah, all, all good, all good. How do you compare him as far as feel is concerned 12 months ago up until Wednesday? He's, he, feels, he feels just as good as ever, to be honest. If anything, he's got probably a little, well, he seems a little bit quicker, but probably as a two-year-old, he never got the opportunity to be driven with cover because he just kept winning doing the work. So that's the way we drove him. But the speed he showed in his trial the other day was, was magnificent around the bend. And I think that's probably an asset that people don't know he's got, how actually quick he is. You've drawn the middle of the field. Jimmy, how do you see early plan? Yeah, there's a Anthony Butt, uh, sorry, Tim Butt's new one from New Zealand, uh, Parama. It trialled really good. It actually beat us home that middle trial. Um, so it's drawn inside us. So it's probably on paper the, the one that's a little bit unknown uh, but with gate speed and everything. So we'll just come out and, and uh, play it by ear. But if we can slide in close to him, um, we know he's very versatile. If we have to make a move, we can. If we can sit him up, we, he showed how quick he is. So that's probably one of the best things about him. Your levels of confidence? Oh, le level of confidence about the preparation is very high. Um, you know, things can happen in a race Tuesday, especially first up, and especially with a new one from New Zealand in it that, that has good form. So uh, I expect him to go very close, but I, I really think he's come back really good, and um, it's just great to have him back at the races. You sat down for a busy day, Jimmy, kick off in race two with Rocket Baby, probably tested, you're going to have your work cut out there. Yeah, um, it was good, at Darren McCall and, and Karina, his partner, um, they're very happy with it uh, after its first run, I haven't sat behind it before, but they were very happy with its first run, it's probably up in grade a little bit and it's going to be hard for it, but um, it's exciting to drive two year olds like that, that, that seem to have a little bit of promise, so um, yeah, it, it'll, it'll be good to, to see how she messes up. In the third event, Jake Sports rider, and he's drawn nicely in gate three, but he doesn't win out of turn. But this is this is a winnable race. Definitely, like that, these claims are a, a little bit hard to figure out sometimes. But he, he's always very consistent, Jake. He always finds the line. And um, look, if he gets the right run, he, he's always dangerous. He's perfectly ideal in the fifth event, drawn out wide. But his form is probably a little bit better than what looks on paper. Definitely, he had no luck the other day, and he's probably down in grade a little bit on Tuesday. So. Uh, He's gone down in grey but drawn a lot worse, so it's a little bit of a... It's hard to sort of figure out where we're going to be from nine, but um, he's actually going OK. He just needs the right run, and, and um, yeah, he might pop up one day. Simon Neal's got a nice one going out in race six, well drawn, in delight and goal. Now, there was a lot of merit in his performance at Penrith last Thursday. Went terrific at Penrith. Um, had to do a little bit early and then had to come three wide again from the 500. Uh, I, I really like him. Um, Obviously, it's not a bad field on Tuesday, we, we, especially with Ricky Upton's two-year-old drawn one. It looks very smart. So, look, if we can just pop straight on the back of it, I'm, I'm sure it's going to get a great run. And he hasn't been far away in his three runs. Over to the last, and better be lucky now, another one, Jimmy, where his form is probably a little bit better than what the stats show. Definitely. He's going quite good, actually. He's just a little bit one-dimensional. He's just got to come with the one run. But uh, his half and quarters have been very good lately. So he got to go a little bit before the straight the other day. Um, when the horse outside the leader started to struggle so he probably had to go a little bit too far out for him but he kept finding the line and he wasn't beaten far so look it's a very even race on Tuesday um, if we can sort of get a posse somewhere not too far away from him it's a genuinely run race he's always thereabouts. Jimmy you never disappoint with your assessments of your runners and you're always thereabouts as far as an each way or definitely the exactors let's put expensive Vigo to one side out of the rest of your drives what are you more confident about? Uh, Look, at, at the value, probably better be lucky each way in the last, but um, Delight and Gold is going to get such a great run behind the leader and, um, he, he, you know, he's shown he's very consistent, so he won't be far away. But look, like we touched on, a few of them, like, c c can run a place or, or even win if they have a bit of luck. Well, Jimmy, good luck with Expensive Ego. Like all of us, uh, no doubt, you and David are going to be counting down the minutes until we see this exciting type back in action. And Jimmy, thanks for doing some overtime. <laughs> no, no, no problems, Mike. Just good to have him back at the races.